Canada! Hey guys, welcome to the fourth and final installment of Figure February. This week, I want to talk to you guys about my Tetsuo capsule figure. If you follow me on social media, you probably realize that I have a deep-seated love for the film Akira. It was one of the first anime I ever watched. It was beautiful, moving, and one of the most masterfully produced pieces of animation I had ever seen. Even today, it continues to rank as one of my favorite movies of all time. The movie is based on a popular Japanese comic series that touches on psychic powers, social strife, and freedom fighting. Although the movie has much less information in it, it still weaves an intoxicating tale about the youth culture and rebellion. In addition to corrupt politics and human testing, the psychic abilities gone totally wrong round out the cocktail to make this a perfect film. The figure we have here is Tetsuo, the main character who plays part hero and part villain throughout the film. Here we see Tetsuo after he has already dealt with a confrontation with his childhood friend and idol, Kaneda but before he starts his final transformation near the later parts of the film. We can see that he sports the metal bionic arm and a cape. However, the figure's cape isn't the classic red, but it does have some red highlights. This figure only stands about three inches tall. And although this seems small, I am very impressed with the amount of detail they were able to obtain in such a small figure. You can really see the anger and pain in the expression on Tetsuo's face. Tetsuo is a PVC figure. He was referred to as a Gashapon figure in Japan. Basically, these guys are capsule toys that you can find in the vending machine. They come encased in an opaque egg and it's a secret which one you have until you crack it open. I'm lucky enough to have stumbled across most of the Akira Series 1 set. However, I wasn't able to get the Kanada on his motorcycle and that still kind of bums me out to this day. When you open the egg, the figure actually comes in pieces and you construct it yourself. Just seeing this guy makes it hard to believe that he ever came out of a vending machine. The finish on the figure is matte and highly detailed. The pose really adds to the emotion invoked by the figure. It actually feels like a scene from the film stuck in time. You can find several of the figures from all three series on Amazon and eBay for between $5 and $10 and you can usually get them cheaper if you buy a few at a time and put them together yourself. For the price, I definitely don't think you can go wrong picking these figures up. The quality and attention to detail on something this size would definitely make any Akira fan's coil reach the green line. To be honest, although this figure is simple and it's inexpensive, it's probably one of my favorite in my collection. Thanks for sticking around for all Figure February, guys. I love talking with you, getting your opinions on things, and making content for you to enjoy. If you like the video, why not follow me on social media? That way we can discuss video games, comics, movies, or any other general geekery you come up with. If you're kind enough to leave me a comment on this video, you can exchange it for one free high five if we ever were to meet in person. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing the other figures that I have in this series. Maybe I'll do some sort of a special Akira video if there's enough interest. I'd like to give a very special thank you to Zaga for letting me use his sweet Akira remix. It was really cool of him to let me use it. You can find his links below, go over to his YouTube, give him some views, go over to his SoundCloud and download the track yourself. Along with Zaga, I also want to thank Gen2. He was really cool about letting me use his track for the ending theme for all my videos during Figure February. Check his information in the description below as well. Last but not least, if you're in the mood to watch another one of my videos, why don't you check out last week's Figure February episode on my Knights of Sidonia prize figure. Next month, I'm actually headed to PAX East, so what better way to prepare than to check out my PAX video from last year, my 10 tips from a PAX first time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm really hoping that once I get all settled in, I'll be able to get you guys some brand new content of much higher quality than what I've been able to put out so far. So stay tuned, make sure you follow me on my social media, and I hope to see you soon.